Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Sussex Saturday on Thursday, what I affectionately call Twisted Trash Thursday. Others call it other special names, but I am VS Speaks Royally. I welcome you all. Woo, my goodness, the comments had me laughing as I was going down while the intro was playing. So there are some that I need to acknowledge. Hey, Hindu, I just happened to click on yours as I was coming back through to the chat. So, woo-sa, everybody, woo-sa, woo-sa, woo-sa. So, I do want to acknowledge, <laughs> acknowledge a couple. So, hi, Buddha, how are you? Mwah to the raid, those that are raiding from Swoop. Hey, Swoop, if you're out there listening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her chat was off the chain today. Y'all remember that disclaimer? All in love, all in love. It was fun, but um, I hit I had to miss most of it because of calls, certain calls I have to take during the day. Anyway, welcome to those that are rating in from Swoop. So C-Mac, yes, on this. So C-Mac was like, anybody hiring for part-time? Because Megan is about to take all my money. Oh, yes. I told y'all when ARO was announced that, you know, <laughs> squatties were going to, our wallets were going to be, yeah, they're going to be hurting a little bit. So now you wanted me to skip right there. Don't worry, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. So mama, mm, love you back. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna save the, I'm gonna save, um, there's two. Church and Ellie dropped. <laughs> I'm gonna save until we get to trash time. Don't you worry, I'm not gonna delay too much. All right, first things first. Ooh, let me take this comment down for a second. Um, let me scroll up here and get, I'll just tap that one. All right. So copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be in so some really good news that I didn't want to wait till Saturday to announce. Number one, we know that um, Better Up today is the last day for their two-day uplift conference. And um, I think Baron had put out a premiere that was going through some of that. So definitely check it out. Prince Harry is trending on the app formerly known as yours. Look at the that. Now, when I first looked at that number this morning, it was about 2,900. <laughs> squad is awake now and squad ain't playing with folks. So as I was perusing the X app here and there while listening to calls, because, you know, whew, I saw this pop up from Tina. <laughs> we are about to eat good. So I didn't want to wait until Saturday and channel members, I was rushing to get this I, I, I was so excited. I screenshot and then I, when I thought about it, I'm like, oh, I should have dropped that on y'all first, but my apologies. So people, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced two new Netflix series, including a cooking show with the Duchess. <laughs> Y'all better get your Netflix subscription. That is all I got to say, because yes. Okay. So Deadline Hollywood, as we know, will announce a lot of the different projects that are out there, not just for them, but that happen in the entertainment industry. So Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, launching two nonfiction series at Netflix featuring cooking, gardening, and professional polo. Oh, oh, we can guess who the polo, Church Nelly. You can only imagine who else will probably be in the professional polo one. Okay. I saw your uh, comment about, you know, um, what is this, the Swedish? Prince Carl, <laughs> you're a mess. Um, I want to give a shout out to, um, Lord, what was the first comment that came through? You, you think I would have had it. So um, I did save it. But I know who it is. Cicely, to you for the first comment. Um, it got filtered out as it was closer to the timing. And I don't know why. YouTube and or StreamYard does that, but they do. So Squatty Corner is just the usual, you know, still working towards the 10K subs. Also have channel merch and, you know, the favorite trash time merch. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
um, getting to pre-trash time, I wanted to share these thoughts because we're going to see a little bit of this in um, in trash time. But just to give a little thought, I have a question for you deranger. So this is a squatty, of course. How is claiming Megan faked her pregnancies any different than saying Kate doesn't have, didn't have cancer? Okay. That's just a, a thought that's out there, basically. Yes, because for whatever reason, folks have to get back into the moon bump thing, as well as this insidious, disgusting commentary like, like Kate was Harry's first love. Get the, uh, we're not even in trash time, so I got to watch myself. I got to watch myself. I got to, got to, got to, got to watch myself. Okay. But as my subject and title says for this live stream, British royal family always in the trash. Because that, them allowing headlines like that is trash. Speaks a lot about y'all over there, which y'all like to do. Mm -hmm. Too much switcheroos. Okay, let me get into the, let me, let me go ahead on. Um, first, let me let me bring this up and just scan comments really quickly to see if I'm missing anything urgently important. It's just it looks like it's a lot of greetings. If it's something that I'm missing, definitely just um... <laughs> oh Lord, is that why they're giving uh, um, the CEO an MB? <laughs> Church Nelly. Okay, just know, just know, you better go have your, I'm glad they're doing something with Pola. And I remember us talking about that on one of our live streams together, all of us, about doing something that will educate everybody on Polo, because that is a sport that Harry's heavily involved in, and just so we can upset all the... <laughs> <laughs> we can learn all the ins and outs of polo. I need y'all to behave in Annie. Why are these people? <laughs> Those people always at um, Megan's but JJ. I have two answers, but I'll just say, because, you know, it's irresistible. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, her husband said that's his favorite sin. Okay, I'm just saying. Well, he said his wife was, so anyway. Uh, Anna E. Churchill, yes, I reported some even without watching. Oh, okay, not sure. I just happened to see that comment. I'm just going to come on back over here. <sighs> Who's sending you deranger channels? Okay, never mind. Don't, don't. Mm -mm. I don't even want to know. Um, I get dropped channels from time to time, or I see some out on the app formerly known as. If I don't know person, I'm not clicking because I'm not giving you the view. I'm not playing that game. And so we're just going to move on. Mm -hmm. um, if you know who is, um, who's within the Sussex positive channels, then, you know, you stick to that hallway. Everybody else just, yeah, ignore and if they pop up in your suggestions, just click the three little dots and click do not recommend, don't recommend channel or whatever. So just don't give them the click. But that's up to you. Anna says, Team Mac, I don't know why. Strange, I just got a new phone. Some don't receive my text. Oh, Ooh. some folks have you blocked, Annie. <laughs> Ah, oh, Lord. Okay, let me get into it because that's what y'all are here for. It's Twisted Trash Thursday. <sighs> let me exhale a little bit. Mm -hmm. Here we it's go. It's your favorite time. Trash time. Trash time. Trash time. Okay, so... I'm still over here trying to woosa myself out of, out of cutting up completely because it might be guests. And I'm just going to say, if you are of a sensitive type, trash time ooh, may not exactly be right for you, but I do hope you stick around mm -hmm. and or tell others about, you know, <laughs> BS Speaks Royally. All right. So there's this sick, sick narrative going out that Prince Harry's lost Kate. 
Now, are y'all trying to tell us that she's gone already without telling us she's gone already? Because these headlines, y'all have tried this before and squad told y'all to stop the shit. So we're going to say it again. Stop the shit. He wasn't in love with her. I mean, come on now. He really didn't give her too much of the time of day. If she conversated, he conversated back, but it wasn't like he was up in, in her grill where she was trying to always be up in his smile and he wanted no parts of that. Okay. So here we go with the headlines. Now, I also want to say, y'all are releasing headlines like this when you want Megan and, and to just be quiet and sit over in the corner and not work and not announce any projects, but y'all can put this shit out when um, allegedly the absent lady is sick. Okay. Uh huh. And that doesn't harm her mental either. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So anyway, NS is a liar. The next three or two um, screenshots after this one are all around the same craziness. Prince Harry regrets losing Kate Middleton, torn between loyalty to wife Megan Markle, expert. You're sure. I don't know where this expert thinks they're coming from. I say it's from the sewer because even how some of the other headlines are framed, um, he's not torn between loyalty. Uh, Let me just set y'all straight for those that may not know. Kate Middleton showed her loyalty was to her husband and the crown that she hopes to have on her head one day when she didn't shut down headlines going back almost eight years ago. um, Just all the crazy, disgusting headlines that started out, you know, straight out of Compton. And I have a niggling feeling about her and her exotic DNA. And, And then the one that really relayed to Kate Middleton was the cry. Megan made Kate cry, and you knew that was bullshit, but you didn't correct it. So, um, torn between loyalty, no, she showed her loyalty and is sticking her right up her keister right now. Okay, they all get into that, so they all love it. Life goes on. All right, so here's another play on the stupidness. Is mm-hmm. you is a piece of shit. I'm just gonna say it like that. Is. Um, also putting out here how, you know, Kate was the first person to usually meet a new girlfriend. Well, Harry knew better because you weren't the first one to meet Megan. And I don't care what narrative you set, you weren't. And they stated that. Okay. And then you acted like a cold, a cold batch when you did meet her, you know, stuffy and stiff as a board and you wonder why your spouse is doing what he does okay now let me go ahead on Hmm. y'all better leave harry and megan alone now i'm just saying all that energy you keep putting out there about them is coming back and whipping the wheels off of um you all over there all right now this one mm -hmm. again i don't understand why Headlines like these are being put out when you all should be raising the profile of the absent lady and only the absent lady. Chuck Chuck is known. Absent lady, not so much, especially when you leave the borders, although y'all like to close the borders to everybody that isn't quite like y'all. Okay. Um, Meghan Markle was disruptive to Prince Harry's relationship with these key royals. No, she wasn't disruptive. They were disruptive for being racist. How about that? Okay, just my opinion and I'm moving on now. I mentioned the moon bump early on because two can play that game and squad showed it. Do we remember that Meghan outside of the church and also when she um, was getting flowers from a child outside of one of them? ceremony thingies that they had to attend. And then I believe she was at um, SmartWorks and she knelt. So she went into like, you know, squatted down basically. So many people were like, oh, her her belly disappeared. She's, you know, wearing that. It, it, it Basically like her belly folded when she, she squatted down, especially to meet the child. So 
squad is not playing with folks. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me get the um, because the timer is cutting off part of the screenshot, and I just want to be sure that I can read it correctly. Mm, Y'all can see it, but it's just kind of cutting off, and I think I have it here. Oh, you know what? I know where it is. Mm -hmm. It's in my folder. This one I took off the computer directly from the app formerly known as. Mm -hmm. So let me get to it. Let me get to it. Let me get to it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Okay. Remember when Kate Middleton allegedly smushed her moon bump to do walking squats? Kate Middleton never gave birth because pregnant women can't squat. And that was what they kept saying about Megan. There's no way she's pregnant. Pregnant women can't squat like that. It's fake, fake, fake. But then there's a video. And we see what's going across, Getty Images. Mm -hmm. One that they couldn't fake. Ooh. Okay. Because we're going to get to that too. Um, so it's basically squad is showing them two can play that. Now, if y'all keep it up, this is what we're going to show you right back. Just turning the mirror to them to say, hmm, explain how she squatted. But you say she was pregnant. So how does it not work for Megan? Uh, okay. I need y'all over there to stop drinking the water, bathing in that water, whatever it is that y'all are doing. And it's probably not the water because we're going to see how a son and mother in law are um, swaying together. Okay, let me move on from that one. Okay, let me get back over here. Hmm. So we do remember, you know, KP not being a trusted source because of the altered doctor picture that allegedly the one that um, Harry's supposed to be longing for. Eh, um, admitted to have putting out, well, someone assigned her name. We know that there is someone in that particular palace that likes to sign names to statements like he did his brother. Mm, okay. Because Harry knew nothing about the statement and there's his name signed to it, trying to make the heir look good. Mm. So I also need them if y'all are so concerned with squad and what is said in the questions that are being asked, like, where is she? Oh, okay. Um, y'all need to cut it out with these stupid headlines too, because are you telling us something without telling us? And I wish you just would go on and make the announcement, whichever it is. <laughs> just make the announcement because it's a little just, it's tiring, it's sickening, and it's a little pathetic. The prospect of ascending the throne is causing Prince William and Kate Middleton intense anxiety. I notice y'all aren't using the Prince and Princess of Wales. Lord have mercy if, if a squatty or somebody else calls her Kate or Kate Middleton. Y'all have a fit, but now y'all are using that a lot more. Mm -hmm. Telling on yourselves over there. You're telling on yourselves. Don't come for us when you do the same exact thing. Mm-mm-mm. -hmm. So we know that Getty Images have put an editor's note on that announcement video for March 22nd. It's very important that people understand what that editor's note meant. Now, many are running around saying, oh, it doesn't mean much. Oh, it, it means great. It, it means a great deal because they didn't do any other editor notes on, say, um, any Troop in the Color videos, you know, birthday or the Conure Nation. That was the biggest one, the Conure Nation. Probably even um, any footage for the Queen or whatever is passing and funeral services. They didn't do that then. So it's major. Well, I'm out there on the app, minding my own business. And I see this. Now, I see the screenshot. Breaking news. So, of course, your eye goes to, okay, what's breaking? And I said, BBC refuses. I said, Ooh, let me take a pause. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Here we go. So, I'll give you a bigger view of it, but there is the March 22nd video. Mm -hmm. So, here's a bigger one so that even I can read it. <laughs> BBC refuses to respond to our freedom of information requests as to whether AI slash 
deep fake technology was used in the Kate Middleton video. Here's um, the response. Information that relates to the BBC's output or information that supports and is closely associated with these creative activities is considered to be held by the BBC for the purposes of art, journalism, or literature. Such information held by the BBC and other public service broadcasters falls outside of the scope of the Freedom of Information Act. It is important that the BBC is an independent and impartial, that's a lie, in my opinion, news organization with an S. <laughs> okay. Why couldn't they just have replied with a simple no? Let me take my banner down. With a simple no to put the speculation to rest. Yes, you had to go through all that. Just say... <laughs> You went through all that. It's true. You could have just been like, no, nope, not going to. I guess they felt they needed to give an explanation. But in giving the explanation, you telling on yourselves is how most of us are seeing that. So, uh-huh. And people are still picking apart and showing um, discrepancies. <laughs> Eyeballs, eye pupils a bench that starts moving. It's just, it's craziness. But anyway, <laughs> they're coming for y'all. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why the BBC is the one that released that because then other organizations, you know, Freedom of Information Act, most have to comply with that, at least over here. But all right, I'm going to move on to the next. So I had mentioned about Sway Sway swaying with his mother-in-law. Very odd, very strange, because should the two of you be pub hopping, in a sense, in the midst of all that's going on? I'm just, just saying. And even how this is worded is disgusting, but that's just me. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Mm. Prince William enjoys, quote, secret trip to pub with Carol Middleton, end quote, amid Kate's cancer treatment. Again, you ain't given her name, like her title, but you use her name. All the things you were trying to say that squad and or Harry, when Harry um, released a statement, him and Megan, on wishing her well on the news of that she made that announcement on March 22nd. So, you know, it's just saying here, according to reports, Prince William was seen popping into a pub in Norfolk, Norfolk, at the weekend. I don't understand why y'all speak this way, but okay. At the weekend, along with his mother-in-law, Carol. Now, let me just say, squad is having fun with this <laughs> and popping out those pictured receipts. Okay. So this was also another one that... Um, it is believed William's mother-in-law is staying with the family. I need to give it that little pause. According to Daily Fail, and I'm just going to leave it at that, R.E., mm -hmm, the princess, Prince of Wales was spotted relaxing at the weekend with Carol. At the weekend? What? The, what, what? At the weekend. Okay. Mm-hmm. Watch, maybe y'all are being intentional in it because <laughs> some of us are picking it up because we can read into many things that y'all put out there. We read through the bullshit you put out about Megan and them. So if you're putting it out against the Sussexes, we're going to have to believe that you're intertwining the truth when it comes down to the others because you don't put anything other than the truth as you tell us, right? Hmm. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> very, very interesting. So, these were taken at an event that she was attending. This is this is the absent lady's parents. She's a typical. Um, brown bagger. I'll just say it like that. <laughs> you know how low, low, low you got to be 
if you are the parents of the future consort of a country that you know you were born and raised in but you can't control yourself not to have a little drinky drink while you're at an event and you have your brown paper bag there yeah the receipts are coming now this is her checking it out and then she has to pull is this mine or yours dear let me look and then she pours it out but you know, the pictures of him getting his sip on are starting to fall out, too. Mm. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like, if you go to have something to eat, mm, I thought y'all didn't like all that. But I need to see pictures because, <coughs> excuse me, you know how pictures are worth a thousand words. And ooh, trash time would love that. But we have enough from the vault to, to show that y'all can't say, oh, no, we... Oh, no, we weren't having anything. Yeah, yeah, y'all was swaying away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You always said you like like spending time at their home and, and, and had your head in her lap as she rubs your head. I remember reading something to this effect. Some of y'all will remember. Um, you know, him, she was rubbing his head and, it, you know, like she was the mother that he didn't have. There's many times that Sway Sway has erased Diana. So he gets what he gets when he gets it now. Mm -hmm. um, now, this was interesting. I'm not sure what's going on with Harrison Ford's love, but we need to ensure, you know, keep them <laughs> in thoughts. Mm -hmm. This keeps coming out, that one headline that y'all see that's in big, bold letters. Um, <laughs> this keeps coming out. It keeps dropping. It'll drop over here. It'll drop over there. It'll drop over here. Mm -hmm. Just make the announcement. Dang it. Make the announcement. And Swelo will get his, you know, his swaying on and... He already looks like a, a, a jackass anyway. So, yeah, very much so. Mm. Wusa. Now, I'm not sure what has gotten into this one person. He's the oldest grandchild of Queen Elizabeth. But he needs to find himself or find something to do quickly. I do have an idea for him. So Peter Phillips, I saw this on Celeb Bitchy. Peter Phillips was quote, horrified by the Sussex's 2021 Oprah interview. We are in the year 2024 and y'all are still horrified at the Oprah interview. That's because your recollections vary. Maybe that milk that you be pawning in other countries was spiked at the time. Now, if you weren't horrified at the sight of yourself selling milk, baby, go find a cow and go milk it. Leave Megan and Harry alone. Who gives a shit if you were horrified? I was kind of horrified to see you sitting there smiling with your glass of milk. <laughs> and you're the grandson of the Queen of England at the time. Sunny. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But everyone but Megan, y'all know, y'all can go and sell in the name of the crown. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have had that gig if you weren't the grandson. Mm, selling access, were you? Mm, okay. Was the glass of milk good? Mm -hmm. Some say right from the cow is even better, but okay, I'm going to let you have that one. So, whew, Lord of mercy. Some folks don't know how production goes. So someone had posted this. So Spare is again churning up where it's showing up in timelines. And I'm like, oh, here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> This was last January when that book was released, but we're still trying to find angles to, you know, go after Harry. So now this was back when 
the um, airing occurred when he was on the late show. Now, nine times out of 10, the guest is not announced pre-show. Most people get their tickets months in advance and show up. And you're showing up for the taping of that particular show. So it's not some big dang god dang conspiracy that you tried to make it out. This is from TMZ, as a matter of fact. But, you know, a deranger had to post this. Oh, look. Because the, uh, they're saying that the audience clap was, is that real or was it a taped audience? I really need y'all to get truly get mental help to all the derangers out to get mental help. Because <laughs> if you know how shows work, Mm-hmm. And then you hear it says recorded in front of a live studio audience. But obviously some of y'all brains just don't work correctly. Okay. So as you see the date on this, they were responding to another tweet. And then that leads down a rabbit hole because the tweet responses Oh my gosh, on to this one in particular. So they basically were saying, obviously you never read Spare. It was the most ridiculous thing I've ever read in my life. And then Harry had the nerve to go on interviews and say that things in the book were lies. Like he never gave us kill count, yet it was written in Spare. So Squatty's doing what Squatty's do. They checked this person, provided receipts, et cetera, et cetera. So Here's a quote that was, and that's directly from the late show's uh, tweet at the time back in 2023. Without a doubt, and this was quoted from Harry, without a doubt, the most dangerous lie that they have told is that I somehow boasted about the number of people I killed in Afghanistan, Prince Harry tells Colbert, adding that his words are not dangerous, but the spin on his words are very dangerous. That that's what happened. He stated and how he stated it, and then it's move on. He didn't gloat. He didn't sit there saying any more than it was this. And, and basically like acknowledging that and moving on. But you want to say that he was lying and do this is. <laughs> It's 2024, over a year after the book is out, and y'all still are trying to derail or defame a best-selling nonfiction book that's won awards and and such. So the mental, the mental, but we know that a certain person over in the UK is probably incandescent with rage, which he should have gotten a hold of when he was a child, because it seems like as an adult, something might have really raged out, maybe roided out, trying to grow hair back. But anyway, you know, math is not mathing on all the craziness. Now, I saw this and then I saw the actual, (laughs) not a royal reporter who used to mock Duchess Meghan's podcast and who made fun of Prince Harry's book, now unemployed, hoping to, quote, check notes, write a book and have a podcast. The jokes write themselves. And so I saw that and I'm like, uh uh, who and had to had to dig a little bit, then I saw the screenshot. Hold on to your horses, everybody. All right, let me take my banner down for just a minute. Ooh. RP. Oh, don't say the lady in black got your ass. Oh just back from a five day break in Istanbul and ready for a new chapter in my life. I left the Daily Express on Friday after 20 years as royal correspondent to freelance, right? Specializing in royal news. We all do that, please. They can call me. Feature writing, (laughs) right? Broadcast commentary and podcasting. Open to DMs, open to DMs to discuss work. Y'all should know better than have people dropping in your DMs because things go down in the DMs. Hmm. Especially when it involves y'all, the, the Rota. Y'all know how y'all get down with the get down. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> oh, 
Woo, keep it up, Lady in Black. Keep it up. Woo, she's so beautiful. Mm. All the ish that they put out and that he has written about Megan. My God. And he's got nerve to be. He sounds a little sad, O12. Oh, mm. And you know how I do, how I feel about them there over there. Middle finger up is truly in the stuck position. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> There's over 200 comments. Ooh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I just, lady in black. <laughs> it's that energy they put out there. And we keep telling them to leave Harry and Megan alone, but they don't want to. Okay, I'm going to go up in the comments and work my way down. and. Um, Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we're only a half hour in. Okay. Whew. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to start here and then go on down from here. Um, Annie says, VS, I check their profiles first before click. Yes, that's the best bit. You can tell a lot by checking the profile. I, it still annoys me that they have, well, they could have bought the audience and views that they get because you know i can't believe that many people sit and watch the disgusting things they have to say <laughs> Woo, her typing all the time seems to be so on point mm -mm -mm. anna e i watched baron last night in up in the clouds oh he came on late, so I know I, I was, yeah, I was in the clouds sleep-wise. <clears throat> Churchill, I don't give a happy damn about Paul. <laughs> I'm a member of the Men's Tight White Pants Club. Uh, Churchill, <laughs> but they wear those on the polo field. <laughs> You're not going to get one without the other. So, yes, you do give a damn about polo. <laughs> Woo, Wendy, the CBE award is suspicious. They want to know everything H&M business dealings. Ted will be the leak. Woo, interesting. I mean, if that's what gets that person off by accepting one, okay. But, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Mina, I'll say this. Don't encourage. <laughs> Mina says, please cut up VS Speaks Royally. I, don't encourage. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. And to see this after I finish, did I cut up enough or not enough? <laughs> you tell me. Um, Okay. Bella, please leave her alone while she's asleep. Thank you. Okay. Um, Church Nutter says, when did he better not or his company will be sued? Oh. I do believe Ari's probably had a little conversation. And as many clients as that firm represents, yeah, they, they don't want to see another... Netflix like site come along and all of them move there. Whew, can you imagine? Because mm. it can be done and we've seen it happen. Hey, Lottie, how are you? Um, Annie says you can't really expect anything better from deranged people. Well, I mean, can they learn to keep the mouth shut? Go off in the corner and pray for the absent lady since that's all that they claim they're worried about, yet they have time to keep throwing out all this rubbish. And I'm being sweet by saying that word. Mm -hmm. uh, and he says, my family members don't get my messages. I get chewed out. I've gone in several times to my cell phone carrier. And you reboot and you have all the latest updates. Sometimes my husband will say, oh, I didn't get a call or whatever. Or I tried to call you and I'll pull up my phone record and be like, there's no call from you on that time. Okay. So. 
Tell your family to chill out. And if they know there's an issue, send an email. Oh, okay, because you could probably see that quicker. Tell them to leave you alone for, for the squad comes for them. <laughs> see, Mac, and we got some rubbish to, ooh, chill. Now, I may have missed some of it, but y'all already know that if it's something I missed, feel free to drop it and we can chat it up. But um, I think it's just utterly disgusting on the things that I covered because as many in squad and adjacent to squad have been saying, the loss of his second child is the loss that he would feel adjacent to the loss of his mom. So not the sister-in-law who, again, y'all say she's she's well and she's okay and she's over there. The one that claimed that was calling at, you know, calling him in the middle of the night and she sounds like a stalker that she is. I mean, you know, we know how she was with the husband. Mm. Faith says we miss you. We miss you and love you, Black Queen. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Um, Gwen said this is a bunch of BS. Harry loves his beautiful Megan. Yes, we know that he fights sidewalks for his wife. What? And those that have seen the video and the pictures, he fights sidewalks for her. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, hey, Lady T, the only thing torn is <laughs> them sheets Harry Megan going through. Now, keep being jealous. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Woo, Hattie, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just reading a comment. Um, makes Kate look like the tramp she is. Ooh, I'm sure I'll get some comments for that one. <laughs> Boney said Harry did only um sorry oh did only feel sorry for I guess you're saying sorry for her the way his brother treats her yeah he only he truly wasn't giving her that much time or attention um when your brother-in-law has to call out to your husband to say yo where are you going your wife is standing here and you're over there with the umbrella and it's pouring down rain like psh but, you know, Harry and Meghan have given us iconic moments under the umbrella. All family, you know, G-rated, nothing to be, but they are iconic. The one down in Ozzy and the one, um, where were they in the UK? Mm -hmm. For one of their final engagements. Um, Grace is saying hi. Prince Harry likes Kate or Katie as sister-in-law until he saw her true color. Yeah. We alleged that he liked her. He was respectful towards her as he is that gentleman. So, you know, pregnancies and all this other stuff, it was like, give her space. I think once they were married, it was like, yeah, give them, you know, the space, get her time to acclimate. She should have already been acclimated. She was hanging on for 10 years. She should have been ready, ready to hit the ground round, running. Mm. I guess they just didn't tell her she had to use her feet for that. All right, let me behave. Lord of mercy. Mina, what did you... <laughs> oh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Be careful of what you asked for when you said cut up. Okay. <sighs> so Mina says, why are these dumb people trying to make it seem like Harry was is um, in love with her and that it's not even the case? Harry doesn't want Kate or any other one besides his wife, right? It's disgusting. It's just slow down. We know they don't have too much class, but you know, you can just look at what they wear, <laughs> how they look. I don't understand. Somebody's going to truly have to explain to me if you have the health care that you have over in the UK, they sit that family on top of the food chain, have billions of dollars, but yet the dental the definitely the mental and you know their physical health is shit okay i just need to understand why when you have that much that you aren't taking better care of yourselves mm. okay <laughs> oh lord helen says miss vs they have to save their jobs with filth Oof. 
Mm. Well, they are filth. <laughs> T Mac says, Where are they getting this poo poo? <laughs> he was so sweet and kind in that. <laughs> they pull it out their arse. That's where they get it. Mm -hmm. Again, when the palace isn't, sh none of the palaces shut down these stupid crazy headlines now they should really take a close look at the ones that involve the absent lady what the hell are you trying to say about her first there was hints about her personal assistant mm -hmm, that looked like federer mm -hmm, and we know how she she acted in his face <laughs> but um now with her diagnosis she would think and the treatment that she would be you know occupied with that her health should be the only thing. As she said in her statement, you know, making sure that the kids are okay. Hmm. Well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These two comments. Okay. Anna E. Kit Kat is the one missing H. No one to talk to, only the four walls. I don't even know if she talked to him that much because remember, he wasn't in the UK that much. They like to play like he was, but even out of Harry's own mouth, he said he wasn't there much. We know he was in Africa a lot. Okay. See, Matt, Kitty was thirsty for the ginger, for real. She better go get some ale instead of worrying about the ginger. Mm, it helps for bad gut too, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Carlene's like, Harry, don't play that nasty, twisted game. Those over there love to play. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Again, I always tell that story where he checked that lady very nicely, but he checked her down there and <clears throat> it was on their Oceana tour. Was it uh, New Zealand, maybe? They were doing a walkabout. And she's like, don't I look just like your wife? He's like, there's only one woman that looks like... And he started pointing immediately in Megan's direction. And she's over there. <laughs> He's not playing with none of these people. Hmm. You wanted a little soundbite. He was not going to give you that. Um, <clears throat> Lorna says, do you notice... It's these newbie royal rodents that the tabloids are hiring to write garbage from their caves. Never heard of NS before, me either. But if that's how she's going to get her name out there, that is just not it, dear. Not it at all. Not it at all. I think it's an alias. Some of these folks, I think, are aliases. We know there's a lot of black fishing that goes on with some of these articles. So anything, anything is possible. I'm gonna, we're gonna start putting the UK on a not trusted source list. Well, some of us already have, but okay. Miss September, they just can't let Harry go. Oh my God, these people are a true cult. Harry is the raven that means the House of Windsor is about to fall. Ooh, now wait a minute, it makes me wanna shout, hallelujah, hallelujah. Woo! Okay, let me move on. <laughs> There's a little singing that uh, <laughs> Joan always talks about when uh, new members join you. Let me behave myself. Let me get over here. ML, how are you? Eugenie knew Megan before Harry. Yes. <laughs> and before Kate. <laughs> That's the key right there. Before. Um, even before, like they're trying to make it that Kate had to give approval. Who are you? The woman that allegedly sleeps with his brother, but uh, that's it. Like you had some say over Harry. Stop trying to, they always try to make Harry like he's some kid that doesn't understand life. He understood life very well when he met the woman that broke the conveyor belt. Okay. And he knew this is it. This is it. Now I'm going to have to go listen to Harry Megan Netflix on Netflix. Yep. 
Uh, <laughs> yes, Dolores. The only woman that Harry loves is his wife. Yeah, they tr they're trying it. They're trying it. They are trying it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lord of mercy. Okay, these next two comments, yes. Woo. Lottie, just say how you really feel. Woo. Harry lost his child as well as his grandmother. So why in the F? He regrets losing Kate. She, <laughs> he's no f her. Okay. Lottie, I don't think I've ever seen you, seen you this riled up. Ooh, my goodness. And it's true. And they lost them. Yeah. Anyway, we're going, we're going woosa. Woosa. Yes, we're going woosa. Okay. Lady T. Seward, the half mutt, half pug. <laughs> she's need a ooh, she needs a new flea collar because she's itching for a bad one. Mm. <laughs> oh Lord, Lady T is is teed off. Ooh, my goodness. <laughs> Annie, these deranged people needs to learn how to move on. They keep living in the past and digging up ish from Harry's early years. Give it a rest already. But we all know about his ish. Firstly, the so-called friends. I Now, I want to know if Sway Sway was in Vegas. It would be hard for me to believe that he wasn't in Vegas given the time frame and the leak. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, the friends hung out many other times, had other trips that never leaked. We know the certain parties. They'll put out pictures of Harry. We know how they like to crop William out of certain ones, too. And he's the main um, catch, so to speak. Ooh. Oh, boy. And he's Mr. Feely Touchy, too. So let's not play. There's videos with him recently. Mm -hmm. Let me see, Lorda. Can some please ask Dippity Doo Dog? <laughs> Ingrid S. <laughs> when she lost her glass or ability to read, spare spells out the truth. Well, again, over a year later, it, it speaks for itself, but they're still trying to, you know, disparage it, you know, really defame Harry, which, you know, good luck with that. You know all of his ish. I mean, okay, so there's a judge re uh, reviewing the app visa application. Okay, whoop, whoop. The judge just can't release that type of information. If they do, they could really, yeah, I believe the papers would be filed. Hopefully to take that judge's um, position as well as, you know, license. Yeah. And if you're voted in, Hopefully they put a challenger against you and you don't win because that's just lunacy. You need to look at every for the years prior up to the time that Harry's application came in. And two years later, look at every single application out of that country. And see, see all the information that was given unto them. And did people live up to it? <clears throat> We know where Harry is. It's not like he can go run and hide. He's over six foot tall, ginger, piercing blue eyes. So everybody, those are the characteristics that everybody that meets him will state. So yeah, not much hiding. Tier, Harry knows exactly where his loyalty is. It's with his gorgeous wife. Harry was being kind to dumb Kate, who obviously mistook it for something else which speaks volumes for her. What were you longing that, well, we know what you were longing. Sway Sway was coming up short in many regards, and, you know, peg on, peg on. Grace says, it, that can happen when you are carrying a boy because at, uh, they are at a lower, not high. Oh, huh? well, but there are pregnant women who are very athletic that run every day, 
they do um, dancing. And I'm not saying, you know, just do the little bit of uh, swing your hips side to side. They like get down, they work out with a vengeance because it's all the things that they were doing prior to that when doctors clear and say, yes, if you were doing that before and you should be okay and there's no obvious signs of any problem, voila, they continue. So that whole when Megan stooped and oh, no way, no way, no way. It was like, what? But of course, there's always evidence out there that shows, as that idiot um, Rhoda was saying, how they weren't treated differently. Yeah, okay. They, they, Megan and, and the absent lady were treated much differently and still are. And y'all need to come to grips. Put, your, put all of your energy instead of deflecting away from them, which makes more eyes go over there and be like, well, what's going on? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Every, many people have treatment and still have to work every day, figure it out, still have to take care of households, family, don't have servants. She has a media that's protecting her for now. Because honey child boo boo. When that moment comes and they they won't be protecting, they're using your name again, which kind of surprises me. But it speaks volumes too. Church Nelly, I personally would put out the theory that Kate's in the attic with the Middletons writing her diary, Jesus. Whew. I'm just going to leave that alone. <laughs> when clueless Kate wants what Megan has, a gorgeous husband who loves her, if she's still, oof, my Lord. Well. She thought she snagged the prize. And he just patted her on her knee during their engagement interview. When I saw that, I was like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I put it on mute because you really, to listen to either one of them, whew, they must have been swayed out during that interview. I'm just saying. Anna E., is that wood paddling in the background? Uh-oh. Are you talking about that pub, that one with the beer, him drinking that one beer or a pint or two or three or four? Let me see. Annie, Annie B, they are drunk on that ish, itty water they're drinking, Will. Well, they really need to, they need to get their lives together. Lady in Black keeps talking and, and you know, smacking up beside their head, but they don't want to listen. Um... Carleen, why don't they talk about Wimbledon where she made a play for a certain famous tennis play in front of his wife? Roger Federer. <laughs> that was probably one of the first inklings. <laughs> trouble, trouble. Because I I know I spoke about it on a, on a live stream just saying, did she forget where she was? Literally forget where she was. And if you are that far gone, I guess you just don't even care. You just put it on out there because his wife wanted to lay hands and not in the name of the Lord. She just had that look on her face. If you step over here, woo, child, you know, we would have loved every moment of it. Whew, let me behave. Okay. Joan Commonwealther, the warder has poop, so they have it on the brain. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, well. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see. Um, when Daniel Harry could care less about Clueless Kate, just like he ignored her at the funeral. Well, I mean, it's not like she wasn't throwing daggers, looked at his wife that he, you know, Megan can't help that he didn't want you. You were taken already, you dits. Okay, let me. Yeah, so only but so much that can, yeah. But, you know, them circles, she, she, for, I guess she forgot, you know, she's off duty from the prior activities in order to catch the attention of, you know, wealthy man. But, um, Ooh, okay, there you go, T Mac. Intense anxiety. Then don't ascend the throne. Just saying. Exactly. Um, 
you gonna blame the throne for your marriage falling apart potentially, or you know the alleged disease you say you have? If you have anxiety over that, you knew what you were getting into for both of you. He was born into it, and you chased him to get the ring. Um, you know, so you got the ring, and now intense anxiety. That's it. The, he can abdicate, so it goes to his son. He only has to wait another 10 years, if that, because isn't a kid 10? Yeah. Get him to the age of legal reasoning and then, you know, flit off, sway off. Yeah, sway off. Um, Lorna, does anyone know when Megan's Netflix series is coming out? Because that's the day we're going to get sighting of tropical. <laughs> Carry on flower Kate. Lord. <laughs> Lord, I wasn't ready for that, obviously. Cookies and cream. How are you, my manager? How are you? Um, Mrs. says hi to my boss. I, I see your comments. I didn't see you in the chat today, but usually you drop a comment once you're listening to it on replay. And thank you to all the those that listen on replay. Love y'all too. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. I don't know, but we're going to have to listen. Well, watch and then, you know, you might be able to search and see if anything comes up. Now, if it's called Cooking with the Duchess, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then she has Martha Stewart on and Rachel Ray and all these. Can you imagine? This place, oh, this is so much better than even like Take 2.0, which, you know, that's what I was hoping for. I got something even better. It's, it's going to be good. <laughs> now, there was a Sussex um, cooking account, a Sussex Squad cooking account. So maybe that will be revived. I did see something where Tina was asking, because <laughs> can you imagine if we watch together and every you have different people cooking and or have little contests Urgh. i have to get them on my schedule because i see that there's going to be more content from harry and megan and they just might come back Whew, can you imagine all right if you caught that little um little tidbit that i was kind of talking to myself <laughs> but talking to you all at the same time all right let me let me see what gracie is saying whoever that is doubting princess megan pregnancy is i'm guessing insane and needs to be committed yeah for head examination princess megan went through all the hormonal changes that takes place during i remember arguing with people like look at her face now i didn't give them all the little details because there's certain things that many black women experience when they're pregnant and you just know even before they tell you mm -hmm. Now, the pregnancy, um, I hadn't even had a chance to say anything. This was many moons ago. Um, but after, uh, it was an ectopic, so I lost that pregnancy and I lost my life behind it. But my mother and a friend of hers, you had that glow. So we were kind of thinking, but we weren't sure. I mean, when I say it was long, long ago, long before I even met my husband. So, yes, yeah, so there's a certain glow as well as other things that just change. Hormones just get you, mm -hmm. snatch you. <laughs> Some people, it snatches everything about you, but I'm just going to leave that alone. Um, Coralita, what are you saying? They're putting out Queen to be... Have the hots for oh yeah 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 for her brother-in-law. Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Now that speaks volumes to what they get down to the get down over the get down over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if, I just saw the JJ. I'm moving on. <laughs> okay. Sonia, Stevie Wonder can see what's happening here. Yeah, but all this deflecting is truly not. Squad is like we're stationary. We already know what the bull is, and we're not falling for any of the other stuff. We kind of duck and dive. We'll respond here and there, but our focus does not change. Where is the absent lady? 
Where is the absent lady? And the husband now, because we haven't seen him. Someone had made a comment about, you know, possibly the kids were being homeschooled. They're all enrolled in these very expensive schools. So homeschooling, mm, that would have been reported on because they made a big to-do in reporting the schools that these kids were going to. Mm -hmm. Now, I know the schools wouldn't report if they're not around, but still, it's a whole lot going on right now. And then they keep wanting to rile up and bring out of the, I don't even know how to say this nicely, so to bring the wheeled one out. Okay, there we go. Um, Boney said Megan's pregnancies was all over her body, her face. It, if it was a moon bump, the pregnancy would have wouldn't show in her face right but donka donk because remember when she came back <laughs> from maternity leave for smart works and she stepped out of that car and had on those brown everybody said oh, megan like oh shoot yeah mm. <laughs> everybody getting tipsy <laughs> okay I might need to, to end this now. I know I'm over an hour and I'm really starting to. <sighs> T Mac, Fia, she is broke, so brown bag it. Listen, there's a, there's a point of bringing your own. Some folks understand this. You know, at one point in time, you might have snuck a drink or, or a snack into the movie theater because nowadays I can understand it because it's probably $40 just to get popcorn and a soda. Don't add candy. Don't add anything else. You know, I'm sure butter is extra. And I always like my extra butter, but yes. <laughs> Again, you're at an event that you're only there because of your, your daughter being who she's married to. But you still couldn't hold out on your brown bag. Come on now. And you need to have been able to do that. How about flask? Oh, okay. Have it in a water bottle, something. Well, maybe they didn't have water bottles back then. Hmm. Okay. Like people couldn't smell it on her. All right, let me get over here. I'm scrolling through a lot of comments, so just, just be with me. <laughs> Annie BVS, they don't know what live means because they are deadheads. Yes. <laughs> C-Mac, they need to get the same clap track for the leftovers then. Ooh. Well, at least they get an audience for, um, response because at the BAFTAs, it's like, yeah, that silence. Okay. When they walk in, when they do whatever. Tear, <laughs> didn't Peter Phillips' new girlfriend left his jobless arse. I don't know. I, I truly don't track them. Now, if they pop up in my timeline because the squatty has shared as well as put a comment and is dragging the, the, the water out of somebody, then I will see something. But that just took me out. I'm like, sir, go back and sell some milk. Don't. And you're talking about an interview that was three years ago. Come on. Y'all still upset? Why are you upset? Mm hmm. He couldn't probably answer that if he tried. <laughs> um, let me see. Cookies and Cream says the Oprah interview Netflix docuseries and Spare did irreparable damage to the unroyal's reputation, respect, and credibility Gro uh, globally. They can't get over the fact that the truth has been told about them. It was completely destroyed with that altered, doctored picture that Sway Sway allegedly took but won't produce the original. And then they find out that there's other pictures that were altered and doctored. The time for her to play with altering and doctoring pictures is maybe, you know. Never mind, because there isn't one time. She doesn't know. Not anymore. Ooh, let me behave. Let me behave. Let me behave. Hey, Nitz. How are you? Ooh <laughs> Carlene's like RP got his karma. Yes. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, Mina C, there you go. Connie Bomber, how are you? All right. Mina is saying, please, 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 Prince Harry, write spare 2.0 and give us the real tea because these arrangers haven't learned their lesson yet, child. They couldn't. Mm-mm. I wonder if he's going to wait until Paul kicks the bucket. I do. Because you, yeah. They tried to put this whole thing that the stress of the book, you know, led to the queen who had passed months prior and it had nothing to do. And we knew about the book coming out long before she even, it was told that she was even sick. So they need to cut it out. Um, oh, I see that I have some love dropped. Let me come on over here and acknowledge all this. So Corlita, thank you for the super sticker. Mm-hmm. Sussex love, thank you for the super sticker. Mm-hmm. Let me check my phone because I just want to be sure in case a certain, a certain individual who likes to drop cash apps over there has not done so and I don't miss out. Okay, I don't see anything, so we're good. All righty then. So for the two of you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. This is for you both. You're making it rain, 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 rain down on me. Mm-hmm. Thank you both so, 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 so very much. May what you have given unto me be returned to you a thousand times over. Okay. Um, let me come here. All these. Um, <laughs> ah, T Mac, trash time is one of my faves. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. And three months. Oh, three months. Hopefully, time has flown and you've had fun in the meantime. Um, Church Nelly, I meant to highlight these earlier because you said early in before the stream even started. I cannot believe the British media and royal family are trying to get Harry kicked out of the USA. They're trying to make him go back to the UK. These people are insane. Karma, do your thing. No saying that he would go there. Harry has a job. Do they realize that? Um, I believe the company, yeah. His associations, who he has business ties with, Harry's fine, but he wouldn't have to go back to the UK. It would alienate alienate him because, you know, his family would go with him. But I don't think they really want to. It would be an international situation, at least to me. And we can't say that it wouldn't be politically driven when you have someone who was a president still saying how he would deport him. You need to worry about other folks quicker and sooner like the woman that you're married to. But nevertheless, let's move on. Okay, because see, you're going to have me getting into some. Mm. Never mind. And so, yes. <sighs> yes, this is kind of crazy. Well, you know, they want it. What was that? Way back in the day, Church Nelly, they were trying to hook Harry up with his sister in law. Like they thought for sure that arse, although some of you say it was no arse to be seen. Um, that took the attention away. Even on your wedding day, the absent leader, you were overshadowed by your sisters behind or lack thereof. Yeah, that speaks more volumes for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was known as the as one. Mm-hmm. Oh, there go, there she goes, the as. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't have any um, any, you know sponsorships, some ads coming in talking about, oh, look at my ass. Oh, see, she was too, Jordash was already out. She could have been a Jordash girl. Some of you don't understand what I'm talking about. All right, let me behave. Stevie Rose, how are you? Okay, I'm going to, let me get down into the chat here. Whoa, I'm way behind. We are way over to, let me see. Um. Wendy is saying, look how success Harry and Meghan has under their belts compared to the unroyal still stuck in the 19th century with their mediocrity. Yeah. Thinking that pigment is is the winner, but yet they're not racist. Okay. 
Um, Karen is saying um, Katie was starred for attention and misinterpreted Harry's kindness because Harry is a gentleman from a young age, yes. But he wasn't overt with it. It was just like if no one else was opening the door, at least he would have done that. But he also showed himself too of how he really felt when they did that one engagement um i believe megan was on maternity leave and i don't know where sway sway was um but that meant harry had the seniority and i want to say she went to step in front of him for something and i could think it clicked with her like oh can't do that but he extended his hand like go ahead Ain't because he wanted, mm -mm. it was just, you know, I'll be kind, just go ahead, because he would do that with anyone, you know what I mean? <laughs> ah, Church Nelly, is BS catching the Holy Ghost? Hey. Mm -hmm. Got me tapping my foot, too. I got to be careful, because, um, yeah. Um, ooh, Sussex Love, really? There was a funny video of Eugenie walking past Kate and purposely bumping into her, not looking her way and having a little smirk on her face. And Kate looked at her but didn't say nothing because she knew as that was a blood princess, there's no way that she could say something because she did outrank her if husband isn't around. So, Jim Mean Girl, absent lady. Um, Brown, how are you, Brown Girl? Bella, Harry and William were party boys. Yes. Someone grew out of it and someone did not. Mm. <laughs> Harry's, all of Harry was out there in front of the world to see. Now, most people have seen those Vegas pictures. I did not, but I can only imagine. Because <laughs> I think that's at the time that um, the maggot started really swooning and salivating for Harry. And he says, Harry said it in the Me You Can't See, the H&M docuseries in Spare. Why can't they get the message? It's plain as a nose on their faces. Well, they don't want to believe it. They can't believe that he has chosen his family that has been blessed and ordained and all that. So, And not because of that archbishop, but because of, you know, the ancestors and his mom. Okay. <laughs> Brown girl, Bella, Kate got a prize, all right. The booby prize, Will. <laughs> Swayleo, yeah, he's he's swaying, all right. Mm -mm. Um, let me see. Ned's vs. What about the gold medal winning rower Kate was flirting with? After all, Louis doesn't look like William. Huh? Y'all better hush. <laughs> you hush. You hush that. I mean, you know, those those kind of comments were also stated about QE too. I will say that. Because mm -hmm. there was a big gap between kids and suddenly one comes along, doesn't look like, I'm just saying, who seems to be her favorite and also has some um, teddy bear issues. Okay. Let me come on down here. Oh, and, and are you loving the new duo that is doing all these, um, what is it, the inspections of the armed services? And he dropped out of basic training. So I feel for all these individuals who are serving over there because that's a joke to have someone who dropped out but gets to wear a uniform of a high rank, higher rank and parade around and, and do an inspection. Like what? What is that? All right, let me. <laughs> I had to read it first. Rachel says, can't imagine how it mumbles. The thought just gives my entire body seizures from laughing, I hope, because although convulsing, yes. Um, let me come over here. Oh, oh, Church Nelly, thanks. It was it was a long time ago. It wasn't the first. It wasn't the last one I had. I'll say it that way. So, yes. Very scary. Very traumatic. But, you know. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. It was, uh, it was a long 
time ago. Well over 20 years ago, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Church Nelly. <laughs> Gwen, I would love to touch Nacho like that. You better behave yourself. Because his wife don't play either, okay? Um, B is saying, Duchess Megan is a yoga girl. She could put herself in pretzels, KKK, <laughs> but have her brother-in-law, then maybe she could even have her, ooh, ooh, ooh. I had to stop reading that one, my God. Uh, <laughs> let me find my last comment for the day. Um, ooh, Lord of mercy. I was waiting for a comment to come up. Sonia's like, what are you talking about, BS? No behind scene anywhere, I'm just saying. It it did overshadow. Well, even that nothingness overshadowed the bride and her gown. When I say that speaks volumes, they never... The optics, you always have to look at the big picture. Okay, you're going to have her walking. What does the dress look like that she's wearing? And if people wanted to take a picture of just her going up the steps, gown only, because those are iconic pictures, they couldn't do it. Because your bridesmaid or flower girl or whatever title she had for the wedding is standing there holding the, the train when it could have just went up the aisle with you like it did when, okay, anyway. Ooh, should have stuck with them little kitty kids for the flower girls or the bridesmaids. Um, okay, Marsha, not playing with you. <laughs> Scrolling and then I see AKA gone girl. Woo! My gosh. Yeah, she is sadly. And then replaced by Will's Willie's peg. Oof. Um, his beard. Okay, because just I'm sitting here reading comments because I have to read them before I put them up. <laughs> Ooh, Sonia. V.S., you know the story about Lizzie. Not all that glitters is gold. I mean, hence why her and her husband got along so well, because they were, whew, all right. Will sealed for, for centuries. Okay. You might as well say, because 99 years, jeez. Um, I'm so done with you, Marshar. I just need to read this anyway. Let me see. Seriously, if Kitty has been deleted, I expect them all. To, I expect them to tell us at least one year after the fact, as it gives the kids time to mourn. Then Willie will have freedom from her. He wants, ooh, in my opinion, that's a long time to keep somebody now you, on ice, basically. So just kind of wild. <laughs> Annie, she's like, no, keep the chat going. I'm having fun. Y'all are so bad. Y'all sit here and instigate and and, and, and keep, you know, instigating. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kat, how are you? Oh, Lord. let me see what she says. With regard to the event, um, Harry and Kate attended. There's a video of them leaving and Kate was staring at Harry as if to say goodbye. And he walked right past her and got his call. Yes. As I said, he did. He showed up, he did his job, which was to go into this thing, sit, be present, and then I'm out. See, Harry didn't play around. And, and so they make this big deal of, you know, when he's left recently and it's like, I'm out of here. So, all right. <sighs> Y'all are going in. Okay, let me, let me find one. Uh, oh, thank you, Sussex love. Thank God you were in a time and a state that you could deal with it safely. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Sussex love. Yeah. Um, I, because of that, but that ectopic, it, it led me to see that having therapy is the best thing for one. So, you know, it still pisses me off when I, 
think back to Megan reaching out and asking for help and it being denied because they didn't want to be embarrassed, but then others can say that they're having therapy to help them through. It's just, it's, yeah, it's a little disheartening. Therapy is a good thing. Um, you know, prayers help. Therapy helps put the two together. Brilliant combination. Uh, it's just, yeah. Anyway, let me let me get off that. Let me find. Okay, I'm gonna use this as my last comment. Gwen, ding ding ding. Harry was going home to his beautiful wife. There you go. So I'm gonna leave that up there for all the crazies that just seem to want to. It's disgusting if you are cheering on those headlines. I'm just saying, because then you're you're game for something like that to happen in your own life. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to read this because of the way I just laughed. Marsha, y'all what? <laughs> I can hear my kitty at my door right now, but none of us can hear kitty puss at all. You better cut it out. But I'm going to go back to this comment here. All right. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining the live stream, hanging out. Those even if you were at the Cloud Space Station, wherever Thank you, thank you, thank you um, to the derangers who maybe hate listening. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Don't bother leaving a comment. But if you do, thanks for the engagement. All right. Um, please take care of yourselves. I hope to see you all around the respective hallways that, you know, I know you from in YouTube. And, uh, you know, some, some halls I stay way in the clouds, like Pluto. That's that's how far out I stay, but whew, okay, that's all I can say. Anyway, be well, be safe. We shall chat again, prayerfully on Saturday. I will be picking up my dad tomorrow, so prayers for that. And then I get him home and settle him in. It's going to be a lot, um, as I am not a you know, professional nurse, and there's lots going on with him. But anyway, just some prayers, because as I say, the body may be somewhat stronger, but the mind not so much. So love you all. Take care. Again, thank you for the love that was dropped on me earlier. Um, let me just make sure I haven't missed anything. Nope. All right. Just was making sure. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>